All right, here we go. Oh, look at Steve and Steve. What's going on? Steve. It's what my namesake right here. Dude, that's right, man. All was right. this baby named after you? No, I don't. They came up with this long before I was on this tour. All right, so you're setting up the tour here, man. We're in the middle of the day. Give us a give us a tour of, of Steve so here. We got uh, Steve 3PO. Is his full name. We've got uh, two triggers here on the hi hat. We've also got a reverse hi hat clutch that opens and closes down here. We've what? got. We've got that loosens the hi hats. Yeah. <laughs> sure. We've got two triggers here on the bass drum. Uh huh. We've got two triggers over here on the snare drum up top, and then we've got another trigger that lights these LEDs up for his eyes and they bounce up and this down. This is his eyes. His eyes do that. So this was like after you're all done you're like huh we better put some eyes on him too. Yeah there you go and it runs MIDI right into this box here and then all eight triggers come out of there. Dude, so there is some stuff going on here. How's Steve working out? He's working out great. He's, easy, he's really easy to, to deal with on a daily basis. He doesn't say much. <laughs> I don't know. He's tight. And everything's cool. Like he's basically playing along with you. Just on songs, yeah. there's a lot of drum stuff. Yeah, he's playing I'm with. I'm sending him. I'm sending him data from right here. There's a cable that runs around him to where he is. That just kind of tells him when to play and when not to. He's pretty good at following <laughs> orders. You know. Does he play what he wants sometimes, or does he play what you tell him? Sometimes, sometimes he, he'll he'll take off on a tangent, and we have to rein him in, but. But you can be really stern with him, and it doesn't really hurt his feelings because he really doesn't have feelings. So you can just say whatever you want, and it just bounces right off. Right, right. Steve 3PO. No kidding. Only on tour with the David Crowder band. Unbelievable. I love how he kept the rig out the top of the kick drum for the hands. Yeah,